So I'm going to show you uh, an experiment about how to sort of work out the efficiency of a light bulb and how to see how energy efficient it is. Yeah. Obviously when you switch on a light bulb, you have two forms of energy that are produced. You want obviously all the, the energy to be going into the light, the production of the light. But you don't. If you're going to touch the light bulb where it's just gone out, it's very hot, so you get quite a lot of energy wasted as heat. We don't want that energy. Okay. So for this experiment, we need a power pack. Obviously, I can put your power pack in some sort of power. Uh, you need two cables to attach to your light bulb. Let's just attach on the side, like so. You then want to attach it to, I'm choosing the, to do it in the AC. You can do it in DC as well. I'm choosing it to the AC because I want to mimic um, the home environment and at home use an AC code. Okay, so switch the power on, your light bulb should come on. What you want to do for the experiment, you can set it at any voltage, the power pack. Obviously, the more voltage you give it, the more the brighter it will go, and the more heat you'll have produced. Uh, so you'll get a greater range of heat, which we'll explain in a moment. I'm using 8 volts, because it gives a nice um, differential of heat uh, over time, and uh, also it's not too bright, it's a waste of energy, anything like that. Okay, uh, make sure that when you use your voltage, you keep the voltage the same for every single and that sort of thing. Um, once you've done that, uh, once you've done this experiment, you can obviously come to bulb to give it a bit of consistency. You can tell the kids that it's obviously just for a fair test. Okay, uh, the water that you're going to be heating up with your bulb, make sure you keep it at a level that is lower than the metal piece of the uh, of the bulb when it's immersed in the water. Okay, obviously you don't want the water coming into the metal. You may short out the bulb. It would be very good. Okay, so mark the temperature, uh, not the temperature of the water before you start. So this water is 23 degrees. <coughs> Place the bulb in the water, uh, along with the thermometer. As soon as the bulb is in the water, start your stopwatch. Okay, and then time it for, for five minutes. And what I'm going to do, or what I'm going to do uh, in the classroom, is to get the students to record the temperature of the water uh, that every minute or every 30 seconds once the stopwatch is started. Uh, the main reason for that is idle hands make, you know, would make it really easy for them to start being mischievous. So giving them something to do for the five minutes when they're just waiting to see what the temperature will be. Plus, if they've got results over time, sort of every 30 seconds or every minute, it's good practice for them because they can make a graph and it's good practice for them to use a graph. Um, obviously what you want to do at the start of that is to show the kids how to set it up. Um, you can describe the safety procedures whilst you're doing so, so not getting the metal bits of the bulb in the water and that sort of thing. Um, once you've done that, uh, once you've done this experiment, you can obviously compare the results of this experiment to an energy efficient light bulb. You can do the same experiment with that. Both if it's energy efficient, it would use, uh, it would lose less energy at heat. Uh, or you could use a range of different bulbs uh, with different powers to see if the power of the bulb affects the amount of heat that's lost uh, and therefore the amount of energy that's wasted. Okay. Once uh, the five minutes is up, you've been recording your results, make sure that when the pupils are taking the bulb out of the water, that they keep the bulb upside down. Obviously it's been dangled in water. If you turn it upside down straight away, the water's going to go into the bulb and it will break the bulb. Okay. So then get them to dangle it on the deck, get a paper towel, Dry it off, you can even get it to put it on the paper towel, dry it off, turn off the pallet and then start drying the off. And that will be the end of the experiment.